Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, my little degenerates. It's your boy, Mr. Degenerate, back at it again for another video. And man, oh man, let's talk about DNF Duo. In particular, unbalanced fighting games. Yes, that's right, because recently your boy has played some DNF Duo. I have been playing a lot of DNF Duo, and I gotta say, I love the game for one reason and one reason only. It is the most unbalanced uh, fucking broken unga bunga game i've played in a long time and it's made me kind of realize something that we don't got we don't get a lot of fighting games like this where it's just like it felt like the developers said looked at the frame data look at that the patch notes and just threw it out the fucking garbage it was like it's a free fall it brings me back to the old days of fighting games where back in my days i'm about to sound like a fuck you didn't have the opportunity to call the, the developers or Twitter the developers and be like, this shit is fucking broken, it needs a patch. What you got when the game came out is what you had to deal with when the game was launched. Uh, and, and you better hope it's like Capcom that's going to re-release the game 15 million times, give you an Ultra Sheet Fighter Turbo HD Blowjob Edition. Um... EX in order to get it fixed and really 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 miss those days uh, not so much the buying different editions but more so like overcoming those great odds you know I look at DNF Duel right now and it's in its infant stage right now so the game can be developed into something completely different by the end of its life cycle but I look at DNF Duel and I look at like how certain characters are and it feels like, and one of the things I love about the game is that every character feels viable because every character has at least a, one or a few moves that are just completely fucking, like just walkers. Like why the fuck did they put this in the game type of um, shit? Like uh, I, I took a perfect example of Striker. I, Striker in this game, once this girl keeps fucking going, she just keeps going. She even has an infinite infinite in the game that's like character specific and i'm just like i know the community is probably like oh my god remove it remove it remove it please remove it and i'm just like no keep it in there i fucking love it i love seeing that shit i love it uh i know biggest one crusader crusader has this one move uh, with the, his hammer, and I'm like, he is beating your ass with the fucking Bible, all right? Like, Crusader's not taking no fucking prisoners, all right? The way how he's beating you, you're gonna, you gonna wish that you was at fucking church by the time he's done with you. Matter of fact, in tournaments, oh my goodness, if, if you get hit by that in a tournament, just put down the control, purchase an airline ticket, back to your home country, go take a shower, if your country has a shower, take a shit, get a sandwich, Go masturbate, come back, get a, a ticket back to the tournament, drive all the way back to the tournament, sit down, and you still getting hit by a fucking crusade technique. Man, and that's and that's the beauty. That's the fucking beauty, man. I love it, man. Uh, fighting games have lost that. I you know, and I know a lot of people was like, well, that doesn't make a fun fighting game, but yet Marvel 2, one of the best fighting games of all time, roster is fucking dumb. Marvel 2 roster is the is fucking horrendous. Like a bunch of weak characters are in that game. Uh, and the only ones that are viable are the ones that you see 24-7. But what makes that game so beautiful is you take out those characters and you just play with the weaker characters. Uh, you really get to see how crazy and how cool the game is. You know, up to this day I watch Marvel tournaments. And I'm always impressed by seeing a different team, a team I've never seen together, do some really crazy stuff. I've seen some team compositions that I'm just like, huh? Like, that doesn't make any sense. But then you see them in action, and like, oh, it's like, what the fuck? And, and DNF Duel brings that spirit into it a lot. Uh, you know, another perfect example, Marvel 3. Marvel 3, you know... Marvel 3, we all know Marvel 3 has some characters that's like overpowered, the fucking Storm himself, the fucking Weatherman himself, Virgil, is like super overpowered in that game, it's like ridiculous, 
But you know, I love watching Marvel 3 tournaments. Why? Because yeah, it's he's unga bunga and he's stupid, but seeing people come up with ways to overcome him has been the most satisfying shit. Like I've seen team that I was just like, like, why would you play why would you play this character? Like a perfect example, I've seen I've seen some teams play fucking Spider-Man. Like, I'm like, why would you play Spider-Man when you could play Spencer? Spencer is just way more better uh, and way more, like, easier to play than fucking Spider-Man. Why would you play Spider-Man? And you have to do a lot of bullshit in order to make Spider-Man work. But when you see Spider-Man move and, and do his shit, it is impressive. And, again, like, I feel like people nowadays are just so fixated on, oh, patches patch 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 please patch the game please 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 patch the game and it's like no how about you find the ways to deal with it again I, I may be looking at it from a casual standpoint but i you know i i i just genuinely want to see games more games like this more games like dnf duel because again i know dmf duel is not going to be like this throughout the course of its um lifetime and if it is that's even more better that'd be fucking dope but i just know it's not um and you know that's why i wrote that tweet um that i want more games to be unbalanced uh and broken as fuck like i can't i, I wish fucking uh fucking street fighter 6 is unbalanced <laughs> nah i'm just joking uh we need that game to be balanced we need that game to come out great but you know, I, I want more unga bunga fucking games. I need more of that shit. You know, remember? I, I, I think another perfect example. Remember Sagat? Remember Sagat in Street Fighter Four? How fucking horrendously horrible that fucking character was. Annoying to fight. Everyone was playing Sagat, but then you got that one weirdo motherfucker that would that would play a completely different character, and he would do some crazy shit that you've never seen or. The community had to find fucking ways to get past Sagat. You know, remember that in Street Fighter 4? Like, <laughs> I remember I, I, in fact, Street Fighter 4 taught me the importance of, like, like, overcoming overpowered or cheap characters or unbalanced shit because you had to learn the matchup in order to overcome Sagat. It was either you were going to overcome Sagat or Sagat was gonna bend you over and your girl and your whole family and put his dick inside your ass. He was going to tiger me your whole fucking family, all right? And that's just how you had to do it, you know? And that was the beauty of Street Fighter Four, you know? Just, you had to get over it, you know? And I'm not saying every game needs to be broken or anything like that. Like, trust me, there's some games that definitely need some, um, needed some tweaking. Um, but I just, I think the point I'm trying to make with this video and I'm going to wrap it up is that I want more fighting games to not, be, I wish more developers would be more willing to say, okay, let's let the community figure out how to deal with this character. Yeah, it's annoying. Yeah, it's tough, but it leads to some fun and interesting gameplay when you see the community find ways around a, a particular character. And I think, you know, that's that's beauty of having okay. fucking fighting games, man. Man, I need more Fist of the North Star type of games where you get hit once, you're fucked. <laughs> I need more Marvel vs. Capcom. I need more DNF Duel. DNF Duel is a fun fucking game, man. And it's only gonna get better from here, uh, hopefully. But yeah, without further ado, that's, that's the end of my video. Uh, let me know. What do you think? Do you think we, we should stop? <laughs> like, DNF Duel and other fucking fighting games need patch desperately? Or you'd be like, yeah, no, nah, we can wait. We can, we, we'll, we'll ride out the storm. I mean, Dragon Ball fans kind of, Dragon Ball Fighter Z fans have to fucking ride out the storm for Android 21 Co. And that girl is still busted. But hey, like I said, deal with it figure it out you guys are smarter than me you guys are better at fighting games than me so you guys figure it out i'm just spectating and watching and enjoying crazy shit anywho this is your boy mrs degenerate signing out have a good one